Hi guys, Jin Rai here. Welcome back to Jin Rai Gaming Channel. I am back and I feel good. You know why? It's collaboration time between. Tada! The Alchemist Code and my old game. One of the greatest game I ever played. Brave Frontier. And I am Jin Rai from Brave Frontier. And Jinra is how I start the whole thing, so yeah. Anyway, let's talk about the collaboration itself. It's been great, and I have been really, really happy with this. We actually get this pretty early. Um, I thought it would be a slightly later before we actually get the whole thing. So let's just start with uh, this collaboration. This collaboration will last pretty much um, about two weeks. So enjoy your game, enjoy it. Two weeks is pretty good for this event. Um, I hope it's I hope it's enough to actually get all the Selena Sars too, because you can actually farm Selena Sars. What? Yeah, that's what I read. I hope they actually follow through it. I hope they don't really make it too hard to to you know to farm. I hope because I want Selena, you know, level 85. Yay! Anyway, uh, let's go with the login bonus right here. Boom. So, one week for one week, we will have that login bonus for December 7th to December 13th. We get 100 and then in the last day 150. So, we have 250 lapis gems, I guess. And then on the day 2, we actually get oh, the map of God here. This is the experience apple. Uh, the, ma the map of God here actually gives 10,000 experience, so it's actually much better than. Oh well, still slightly less than crystal, but it's still gold, and you can actually farm it. There will be a dungeon for this too, so go for it. After the maintenance, maintenance will come. By the way, I think tomorrow. And day three we got money. Day four we got skip tickets. Day five we got Farga Soul Sars. I guess that's that's that is red. The colors are red. I'm pretty sure that's Farga Soul Sars. Okay. And day six we got a gear ticket. So let's talk about the unit. Let's talk about the free unit first, which is Fargas right here. Fargas is actually not one of the best unit in the game. It's free unit, unfortunately though. But once again, whenever we talk about free units, there is a certain limit when they can be incredible good. And most of them down stretch should be at a three of I mean the third job. So yeah, if you get Fargas because it's free. Make sure he reaches the maximum level and he will become strong. Even Regio is actually pretty strong. Some players are really like talk about how strong the attack that Regio has. Regio can destroy Loji in one shot or something like that. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, you know, we, we will not talk about the current unit though. The current unit, I'm pretty sure Regio will be very very strong. But down the stretch later on. Maybe we'll forget about him. The same with Fargas, but because he's free. Here's the thing: because he's free, get him. Try to get him as much as possible. Yeah. Try to get him to level 85. Because if you can, then he will he will last pretty far. And if you actually get him some of the best items, he will uh, he, he he can tank. He can tank pretty well. These are some of the details that I know from you know Japan server let, let me just go give me a minute and let me check the idea of Vanga's greatness and you know his downfall too alright we go Brave Frontier so Brave Frontier here uh, flame hero so Fargas is basically almost similar to ah almost similar to Dan I. He actually used um, HP to actually deal greater damage. So yeah, so you pretty pretty sure he is almost similar to Dan I. So that's probably one of the reasons why he is a uh, pretty pretty bad in that comparison but of course not all the, his skills 
meet that. Um, fortunately, though, he actually he actually caused him a lot of a lot of problems in his own survivability. That's the problem with him. He has a problem with the survivability. He always lower his own defense a lot. He lowers a lot. I mean, he will he will basically just destroy his own physical defense or magic defense just to increase his attack and magic attack to almost unbelievable, right? Yeah, really unbelievable. And um, of course, there's a passive that actually help. One of his passive can actually really help um, reducing all the HP cost of his skills later on. So that will be good for him. So he's pretty balanced in that situation, but only at the job turn. Only, uh, I mean, only at the third job that you actually can see how great and how problematic he can be. But nevertheless, he is free. If you feel that you want the unit, take him. I am not so sure though. I'll be honest with you. I never really like a unit that actually try to kill himself just to become the very best unit. Like Logi, I'm uh, sorry, like Dios, not Logi. <sighs> Dios. Have you guys played uh, the whole storyline? I want to hear your opinion. How do you perceive Dios? It will be fun. Right? I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will basically just say, say, say a lot of uh, negative impact about the unit, but and about the character itself, but um, he's an interesting uh, specimen of character. A stupid one. Raging, stupid, and basically just irrelevant as a unit most of the time. Although I, I saw some of the players actually want to use Dios and raise him to level 60 and so on, but okay, maybe you like him, oh, no problem. But I have seen how good he can and how bad he can be, and he is pretty bad. He's pretty bad. Alright, let's go to the other unit. Is right here. Selena. Now I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys who see the tires from the Japan, the absolute best ranking possession being made. I don't necessarily agree with a lot of them, but I have to say that I am not really into this as much as how people will put down her. I see her strengths, and she can become incredible. Although I have to tell that um, the problem with her probably because her second job is Magic Swordman. You see, Magic Swordman has a Defined Shelter, right? The problem with that is that Selena at the third job, if I'm not wrong, let me see it. Uh, her third job, her third job also also have. Okay, she also have that passive. Yeah, well, that's actually interesting. She has the, pra the passive of Define Shelter. No? Oh, wait, no. In Japan, it doesn't have. She doesn't have that. She has it as Magic Swordsman. So why did Gumi actually wrote that her first passive is Define Shelter? I think I think I think Global actually mix and mix him a bit, mix her a bit, or maybe they tried to put her in a best recommendation, All right? Oh yeah, it was. Oh, I sorry, I didn't read. The recommended one. Yeah, okay. So they take Defiant Shelter for Magic Swordman. Yep. So she become really strong now. So that's how it is. Uh, her job, she is a knight, so she is like a Logi, but Ice Logi, with a very strong defensive 
ability and um, that's make her really really strong as a defender as a attacker she is pretty good not to the very best though but again pretty good defensively she is great she is a she has a job as a magic swordman so what that means she is actually capable of having a lot of different elements too if you actually take the magic swordsman's passive and the second active basic swordman skills to her so yep so this is what i see in selena and the thing is that how people actually put her down probably because um, there are too many good ice unit uh, i mean water unit in the future later on and some of them are really just overwhelmingly good like for example noctis will be will be godly there multiple hit unit with the ability of well I, I will not spoil you guys but yeah those are the unit of course there's also um the unit from phantom of the kill oh my no 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 <laughs> so many good units in the water department and that's one of the reasons why she is going down but before that happened she is right now will become the very best unit that you can get and she will last very long even even when the the other unit has started to come down and probably take her out from metalis but she will always stay in your team for a long period of time so i say this is actually worth your time just invest if you can invest for her she will last pretty long and she is she has that divine shelter as a magic sword and so makes her really really tough you know if you guys actually facing fatal before or fat or uh, facing you know uh <coughs> lofia you know how tough they are every time you hate there's there's a word resist there because of that divine shelter so yeah selena is worth it if you actually want to spend it okay of course it is based on my opinion it is up to you but for me i say she's worth it again most collaboration time is limited so if you can get them get them before you cannot get them that's all all right so i have been talking about these two units i don't see any new units from Ray Frontier, this is the very first collab and we only have two units and we will be enjoying this, I'm very sure um, don't forget there will be a milestones reward as well let's see about our milestone reward, okay so we have five milestones the first one is 25 skip tickets the second one is rare equipments uh, 10 ticket summons, so you summon 10 times uh, sorry, I mean you summon 10 equipments at one with one ticket and we get 10 of that. And then we got Rainbow Ingots, Rainbow Soul Shards, and then Selena Soul Shards for the last one. So yeah, if, if you can get her, get her. Because we can actually farm her too. It won't be easy though. But again, try it. Try farm her. Uh, the Call Milestone Reward. Oh! We will get three golden gold key, three garden keys, and a rare summon ticket. I will prefer a four plus rare summon ticket instead of just a rare summon ticket. Do you guys agree with that? Ah, uh, well, anyway, we can get that, and uh, I'm pretty sure Brave from their players will also do something about this to actually make their own milestone reward completed. Because I've seen their rewards, I was one of the Brave from their players three and a half years three and a half years guys and I'm pretty famous there so I might go back to just check it out you know, check things out I'm not going to play I retired and actually want to stay that way so if I'm checking things out but not really playing I'm not I'm not coming back from retirement right maybe we'll see anyway guys thank you very much for watching this uh, I'll see you guys after maintenance, we'll see how it goes. Alright, enjoy your games, um, hope you get all the, you know, the achievement for Chloe as soon as possible as at uh, the same time with uh, Almira, uh, sorry, I mean the Resius because 
Renesius and the Renesius will end tomorrow or the next day. So yeah, enjoy. Hopefully you get all the achievement and I'll see you guys after maintenance, right? Yep, I'll see you guys after maintenance. Bye bye.